All right, well, I didn't bother to get a cart today. I figured we'd give that a shot. All right, well, it is our dreary, rainy day here in Frederick, Maryland. Uh, we're sitting at the Monocacy Boulevard Goodwill. That is where we are starting our Goodwill adventure today. And we're gonna head in and we're gonna see what we can find, buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. All right, well, I didn't bother to get a cart today. I figured we'd give that a shot at home. Yeah. <laughs> There's another plant for behind it, though. I kind of like the looks of that one. That one's got a little age, and I do like the glaze. Kind of a really pale blue. I'm going to give it a shot. It's $3.49. Look at this guy. Oh, man. He is so heavy. I wouldn't even be able to pick him up with one hand if I tried. All of these hands on nests. And we just have the pops. That's a bummer. Um, I do like the looks of these goblets. Kind of nice. I might come back to those. Those might require me to go and get a cart. I have to think about it. Uh, this has got a giant crack on it. Alright, what do we have up here? Is that pottery? Oh, happy 70th grandmom. It's kind of cute. It was donated. Alright. What is this? That looks kind of fancy. It has an original sticker. Orba. Made in Italy. Huh. Oh, okay, gotcha. It's kind of fancy. Alright, I think I have to go and get a card now. Jeez Louise, look at this giant rooster. I wonder if that's made in Italy. I feel like we need to look at the bottom. Tanya Rooster, made in China, $75 on clearance. Does he have all his feathers? Man, we could stick that in the booth for double that price, right? It's $24.49. I wonder if I pick him up by the head if he's gonna make it to the cart. Let's go. He made it into the cart. It's a fancy, fancy rooster. This place is so packed right now that really the only aisle I can get down is the baggies. So we're gonna, we're gonna see what we can find over here. And maybe we'll find something, something good. Look, here we have a shell. I don't think I really need a shell though, so I'm gonna leave that behind. I have one at the shop. I don't need another. All right, let's see what we can find in the vases. I do like the looks of this. Dwell Studio. It is a trash can. <laughs> I don't know why I like this trash can. <laughs> don't really, I don't really need a trash can though, so for that reason, uh, we will leave it behind. It's very fancy though. Now what do we have down here? I kind of like the looks of that pot. Oh, come here. It has a nice uh, flower on it. El Salvador. Ooh. Let's have a chip on it. Yeah, it's got a few chips on it. Darn it. All right, we're gonna leave it. Just, I'd rather put it with some things more secure on the shelf. I'll put it right here. There's some nice looking plate. And maybe not as nice as I was hoping. I thought maybe they had a little bit more age to them. That's kind of colorful and pretty. Temporary. Leave it behind. All right, so this is the last place I need to check before I can take off. <laughs> I saw two more Goodwills and I have a sale tonight um, on knickknacks, so I don't have much. This is really cute and colorful, but also I am um, Gans. So I know the majority of Gans doesn't have resale value. It's not an absolute rule, but um, I know most of it doesn't really do well. What is this? Pops and B. That's kind of pretty. There are two of those. There's uh, a yellow one. And a red one. 
top B. <laughs> Looks like they were priced at $75. Yikes. All right. Well, I think I'm going to grab them. They're uh, already ready to hang on the wall. They look nice on a gallery wall. So we'll grab both of those. That one doesn't have a place. That one's got little ladybugs on the back. That's super cute. In the back are some Pyrex plates in green, it looks like. Right? Aren't those the Pyrex plates in green? I don't know, maybe not. I know that Pyrex makes these banded plates. These are just like little saucers, though. I mean, it would be really cool to find the dinner plates. I'm wondering if I should circle back around and see if there's any dinner plates over there. I'm definitely not seeing them from this angle. All right, well, I can't actually get down that aisle, so I think I'm just going to check out and <laughs> be on my way. All right, well, that was a pretty good trip to Monocacy Boulevard. I didn't get a whole lot. I got a giant rooster, which was kind of exciting. Um, it was huge, but I know like some people are into that farmhouse decor, and so I feel like it was a pretty good pickup for $25. That piece is definitely booth bound. We're not shipping that. Uh, I'll probably stick it in my booth and make 20 bucks on it. I'm cool with that. All strapped in. <laughs> anyway, um, I am now at Thurmont Goodwill. Um, we're gonna head in here. We're gonna see what we can find. Buy and look for a rabbit. Here we go. We walked in at the right time because they are restocking. She's pretty. Yeah, she's broken. All right, no Let's see what we have over here. This is interesting. Sculpture from Home Goods. Oh my goodness, look at this guy. Wow. $9.49. He's got a little chin chip. <laughs> He's pretty cool though. I kind of like him. Um, I'm not sure if he's supposed to have earrings. Oh, maybe not. Is he good? I feel like he's good. He's probably like a souvenir piece. Like he's made to look like Aztec or um, Mayan. I don't know. I'll stick him in here and think about him as we walk around. He's pretty great. Uh, this is kind of neat. It has decals all over it though. It's not painted or anything. We have our prospector friend and our Baltimore Ravens pig, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, but maybe it's a Ravens thing. And that looks interesting. Don't see any markings on the bottom, but it's probably crystal. Those look like the same artist who did those mugs I saw the other week that were kind of crazy. Oh, there they are. They're still here. I'm surprised they're still here and somebody hasn't scooped them up. <laughs> um, let's see. That looks like a Radon wannabe canister. It says live on it. Not really seeing anything else here. Here are some frame coma mugs. And there's two, but both of them are chipped. There's one there, that one's chipped. And how about this guy in the back? Also chipped. It's a shame, because those are really neat. I love the color on those. C3. Yeah, those are neat. And um, all four of them are chipped though, so that is no go. <laughs> Bummer. Here are some Lily Pulitzer mugs. Uh, they're kind of worn on the inside um, and on the handles. This one doesn't even have the Lily Pulitzer on the inside anymore. What do we have over here? Butterfly Meadow. They're just little dishes. They're a dollar each. There are three of them. Um, I like the springtime feels of those for just a buck a piece. I think I'll grab those. Um, that is a reverse painted. I was hoping it was fused, but it is not. 
I'm back over in the figurines, just seeing what I missed. And obviously, I missed the Lily Pulitzer. <laughs> I've done that before. Um, let's see, anything else over here? A whole stack of tiles. I have no need for those. Um, I'm gonna stick these in my cart. This is actually kind of cool um, and something I didn't know. It's um, this is Choose Company, uh, which is more contemporary, but it's a Tussy Mussy. And then it has a whole description of what exactly that is and how it's relevant to the Victorian era. I think that's pretty neat. It's for 49. I think I'm going to grab that. Um, and then these are kind of neat. Those are candle holders, I believe. Very earthy looking candle holders for $4.49 each. I like those. So I'm going to grab those as well. All right, well, I cut that Goodwill video a little bit short, uh, but I will put my total spend up here in the corner. Um, and we have a knickknack sale coming up. Um, I figured we'd gather up some items from recent videos, um, get them uploaded on knickknacks.net, and we'd have a live sale. So, um, yeah, let's putz around the shop, see what we can find. We've got about an hour until I have to be home, um, but we've got some cool stuff out on the tables. So, here we go. All right, so we're gonna grab some items uh, for Sage to preload into the Friday sale. Uh, this is what we just sold on Knickknacks this evening on our Shop the Shop. And I just don't think it's gonna be enough <laughs> for her to, to keep her busy tomorrow. So I'm like, oh, let's grab some stuff to be preloaded. I think this, we had some, uh, some folks asking about that. It's just so colorful and fun. This has a post-it note and it's not one of ours. Saeed Golbar, Iran. Oh, wow. They sold for 175 euro. Interesting. So this is Iranian glass. That's kind of wild. All right, let's put it over on the cart. I like that. I've never seen such a thing. I'm here for it. All right. What else? Here. I had some folks asking me about this. That's all one piece. It's kind of fun. Enter with floral frog. Tear catcher. So we'll catch your tears the next time you're sad. It'll be filled. <laughs> oh, that's sad. Okay. Those things weird me out. They've got a weird shape to them. Yeah, I'm just uncomfortable. Nice. Yeah, I know. It's uncomfortable. <laughs> and just like, this is cool. And I'm like, mm, I don't know if it is, though. Some uh, cased glass. Maybe it's just not my thing. It just looks uncomfortable. I think this may be Costa Boda. There's no markings on it. Um, it has a really nice iridescence and it's got this marking. I don't know what that is actually. That's kind of like a weird cane. It's kind of neat. It's got a cool iridescence to it. We'll add that to the cart. Bird plates. I love this plate so much. I wish I knew the marking on it. Then I would have more of them. Fish plate. Paper hat. Those are always fun. Um, maybe these little chicks. I kind of missed the... Oh, I'm smacking it everywhere. We, we missed the timeline. <laughs> we missed the timeline for Easter, but I feel like those can be up. And then we'll stick this on here. It's actually really polished on the bottom. I'm kind of surprised by that. All right, so now I'm just gonna write out um, a description for these items, stick a poster to it, and uh, that'll give Sage something to work on tomorrow. 